Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to go over the 100 envelope savings challenge, which I am currently in the process of doing. I've been doing this for the past six months. This is my progress right now. And I think I have a little over $1,100 in here, which is pretty good. And uh, once I complete this challenge, I will have a total of 5,050, which is super exciting. So I plan on taking that money and using it. I'm trying to build like a, like a couple months ahead to, or you know, just having a couple months of income just in case. So this is just going to be building a savings for myself. And then I will, I plan on taking this and putting it into a high yield savings account. So I'm going to go over, uh, like what you need for this challenge and just maybe some tips on some things that I've done when it comes to this challenge. So, um, if you're not familiar, it is a challenge where you take an envelope and you can take just a regular envelope. I have these envelopes right here. They are from Dollar Tree. There are 80 of them in here, so you'd have to get two packs, but again, they're from Dollar Tree, so fairly inexpensive if you purchase them from there. And basically what you do is you take an envelope, have an envelope here, and you write, you take you get 100 envelopes, and on the outside, you number them. So here, we're gonna have one, two and then you number them three four up to a hundred so you're gonna have a hundred envelopes and you're gonna have a number on each of these and however many times you want to do this a week or a month or whenever you can you try to fill the amount of money in here that corresponds with that number so in here you put a dollar in here and here you put two dollars and then so on up to a hundred so as you can see i have this one right here I actually made this one i have a tutorial a tutorial on how i made this on my channel and i have my one dollar one is filled so i have one dollar in here and then here i do have the hundred dollar one already filled so i put a hundred dollars in here already so yeah a lot of fun to do because I visually like seeing the you know the outcome of this so I really like having like all the envelopes and I can kind of see like okay here's some empty ones I have a 47 I have a lot in the middle on the higher end that I still need to work on those are a little bit harder to do uh, so yeah I definitely have to plan ahead for those but I've got like 83 97 so fill those in and once all of these are filled in, every single little box is colored in, you will have the $5,050 in here. So when it comes to this challenge, I usually look at what I have at the end of the week uh, that I can put towards this challenge. Sometimes I can only put like a smaller amount. Sometimes, you know, I've been able to do some larger ones. For me, I like to do that every week and see what I can put in here to put towards this challenge because I feel like this one is a really nice challenge. It's gonna have a nice payout at the end. So I really enjoy doing this and I also really like filling in the envelopes with the money each week. That's always super exciting. Uh, and another way that you could do this if you're not comfortable with having like all this cash on hand, because you know, I totally understand that, you know, if you don't wanna have you know, especially at the end, it's going to be over $5,000 in here. If you don't want to do this, then you could always like physically have some envelopes and you can put in some fake money if you want, or just like seal it up and just virtually like electronically on your bank account, put that money over into the challenge. Or you don't even have to do this part. You can just get one of these little trackers right here and just color it in and then just move the money into your savings account just so that way you can already start on it that way. For me, I like doing it this way. It's all a matter of preferences, preference. Do it however you would like, but you could just get this little tracker here, which I'll have linked down in the description and just color in the boxes as you go and just move the money over into a savings account. That's another way that you can do this and same, same payout, which is nice. So I'm gonna go over, I think I already went over this, the envelopes, the easiest way to do this, the cheapest, most affordable way is just to get one of the, you know, a couple packs of these envelopes, again, from Dollar Tree, they're super inexpensive, and then just put the money in here. So instead of putting it in here, I would put it in here. And I think these actually fit long ways, so you don't even have to fold it, which is nice. And then just, 
I would glue this because I don't want to like actually lick the end of that, but um, just glue it and then seal it so that way it's sealed in there and you won't be tempted to, you know, pull the money out. Um, and then at the end, at the very end, you'll be able to like open all of these and get your money out. Again, it's if you want that, that whole process, because for me, that's fun. And I like saving because of this whole fun aspect. So I'm really enjoying that. But again, you don't have to do it that way. You can always do it electronically and just color in the little boxes as you fill them in. So that is one way that you can do it. This is the most affordable way. You don't need anything fancy. I do have some fancier, like obviously you could see, I made some vellum little envelopes here. I have this bit tutorial on my channel if you're interested in checking that out with all the links to supplies and stuff. So that's what I've made for myself. I got this box from Walmart. They have it in the section that is, has like the pens and office supplies that's over there in that section. I think this was maybe like three or four dollars for this. They have options on Amazon too. I'll try to link those as well. I've even found like a cheaper version of this at Dollar Tree, but usually those are only around back to school time that I've been able to find those. So, but again, Walmart one is, is fairly inexpensive. I also have made these with like some fun cardstock. I have a tutorial in the, the same tutorial showing how I made these. So that is another option if you wanna have like more of a fun pattern, that would be cool. Another thing that you don't, you can do is you can do a 50 envelope challenge. I believe the trackers that I have linked have a 50 envelope challenge. If not, you can just go up to 50 because that one's a little bit more doable going from one to 50. And I think that one's about like $1,200 in savings. So again, that's another great option. If you think that maybe the hundred envelope is a little too overwhelming, you could just go up to do, do half or even go up to like what you think maybe your cutoff is. Maybe you do 60. Um, but it's just a fun way of saving. And, I, and I've been really, really enjoying this. And as you can see, after six months, I already have just in this challenge, a little over $1,100 just from doing this challenge. Okay, and then I'm gonna give you a couple of tips on maybe how to save towards these larger ones because again, these are really hard to save towards, especially since I do this every week just to have like an extra like $96 to put towards here. Again, a little bit more difficult. But one thing that I do is say for instance, and I did this recently, I think I did a um, I think I had planned to do like one of these lower ones that I have, like a $27 one. But then in my wallet, so if you do cash stuffing in my wallet, I didn't spend as much in my wallet. I had extra money left over. Uh, and I ended up taking the extra money and then adding it to this envelope. So that helped me to get a larger amount than I had originally planned for. So say for instance, I was planning on doing 27, but then I had some extra money that I didn't spend for the week. Like I haven't even spent any of my spending money. So then I can add this to that 27 and do um, 57 this week instead. So that helps if you have extra money that you can put towards here that you didn't plan ahead for. Another thing, I haven't done this. I don't think I will do this option, but I wanted to mention it because somebody else had mentioned it in the comments and I think it's a, I think it's a pretty good idea is say for instance you have okay just to get some of these larger ones uh say you already filled okay I have 34 and let's say we'll grab 20 okay so if you already had these filled and you're trying to fill in some of the larger ones you can combine these two together and take these out and, and put them instead of in 34 and 20, you can put them in, what is that, 54, just to fill in those larger ones. So that'll help to like, you'd have to be moving money around. Again, that's why I don't wanna do it this way, but I wanted to mention it because somebody did mention it in the comments that, that, that that's how they do it to help get these larger ones. So once you get up to like 70, like maybe you can take, I could take like the 70, cause I have a 70. And then I can take, let's say like, okay, a 20, and now I have 90. So I can do the 91 and knock that one out. 
that's another way that you could do this challenge to try to knock out those larger ones is just start combining them. Now, if, if you were to do that, because it would totally mess up the coloring of this savings challenge, I would laminate the savings challenge at least. So that way you can like update it as you go if you do this. Yeah, just wanted to mention it's not something that I plan on ever doing because I think I'll get confused, but it's an option if you're interested. I just wanted to share that option. Um, but yeah, I'd say like, you know, every week, look at what you have for when it comes to extra money for the week. If you have it, I know sometimes it's a little bit hard. That's why I like also combining the money that I didn't spend. And I've noticed, I've noticed for myself recently that like, say for instance, like this spending one right here, I haven't spent anything yet. It's almost the end of the week and I'm about to, you know, do my whole cash stuffing again and this will be money I'm putting towards savings challenges. I've noticed for myself that I actually will be like, you know what? I don't want to spend from here because I'd rather put it in a challenge. So for me, I'm starting to get like more of that mentality, which before I started doing this system, that was not a thing. That was not a thing. I did not like put money, like think to put money towards savings or like think, oh, I well, if I have the money, I'm going to spend it. So now my, my, my brain is switching over to that like saving mentality, which is really nice. So that I like this way to just like, you know, putting money towards this a little bit extra here and there if, if I can. Uh, because yeah, I think this week, like I haven't gone to eat out this week either, which has been pretty good. Um, and I have some grocery money left over. So I think this month, this week I'll be able to, you know, get a larger one because I have that extra money in my wallet that I didn't spend. And I do like to just roll that over into savings challenges at the end of the week. Okay, so that's about it when it comes to this challenge. It's a lot of fun. Definitely see myself probably, I don't know if this is gonna take like a year to finish. I'm not sure, but I really like the progress so far that I'm having with this challenge. Um, it is definitely gonna be a nice payout at the end and be a great savings for me to have for the future. So I'm excited about that. Again, you don't have to do it this way. If you wanna just immediately put it into savings so you can start building interest on it, that's great, do that. That's probably the best option. But for me, since I'm not that much of a saver, I'm starting to become a saver, this has been a good way for me to get started and have fun with it. So I really, really like this challenge. So I just wanted to share a little insight on this and how I've been doing it on my end. And those videos, if you're interested in the tutorials, those will be linked down in the description. So I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more, please hit that subscribe button. I do put out content for budgeting and planning. So definitely check it out. And I hope to see you in the next video.